Welcome, my name is Louis from Tech Tutorials and today I will be showing you how you can make an image background transparent using the online free image editor Pixlr. So first and foremost you will have to open your web browser. I will be using Google Chrome as an example and now we type in the address bar pixlr.com. So once arrived at the website pixlr.com you will be offered two options. You can either go with Pixlr Editor or Pixlr Express. In this example we will go be going with Pixlr Editor as it gives us a lot more options. So you click on the launch web app button right over here and now the editor has been loaded. So now we have to choose an option which we will use to upload an image to the editor. So you can basically open an image from your computer, open an image through an URL, or open an image from a library, or you could even create your own image. Uh, for this example, I will be using this nice pair of shoes which, which I have found online. So I will be selecting the address, uh, doing a right click and then click copy. So now we go back to the online photo editor and you click open image from URL. So now we click on this button and we do a, a right mouse click and click paste. So there we have it, we press OK and now the image has been loaded into our Pixlr editor. So basically this background really annoys me and I want it gone. So how are we going to do this? Well first and foremost you want to uh, click on this lock to unlock the layer. You want to double click to do that. So we do that and now it has been unlocked. So next thing, you go to the tools panel here on the left and you select the wand tool. You can also select it by pressing W. So once you have selected the wand tool, one very important thing to keep in mind is that you can uh, adjust its tolerance. So basically the higher its tolerance, the more it will select. So you want to play a little bit with it, but for this example, we'll be using 21. Uh, just keep in mind that if you don't really like the selection, uh, you could always go back and do it again with a higher or lower tolerance. So we use, we have the wands tool over here and now we click on the background like this. As you can see, a beautiful selection just happened. But there's something which I'm not really satisfied with and that, that is these shadows which aren't selected. As you can see below the shoes there are some shadows and I want those to be selected too. So what I do, I press the shift button and now a little uh, plus symbol appears next to the wand. And now we can click in the shadow and as you can see it immediately gets selected. So I will do that on the other side too like this. And between the shoes there's also a little shadow which I want to be gone. So as you can see now this was beautifully selected and all we have to do is press the delete button. There we go. And the background got removed. So now uh, we do a right click and we click deselect all. Oh that didn't work so we go over here we deselect all and here we have our beautiful image which is with its background removed. So now what you do is you go to file and you click save. So let's call this shoes and you go for PNG because otherwise you will lose your transparency. So this is really important that you select PNG uh, as your format because JPEG doesn't store transparency. So we go with this one and as you can see uh, you have your size over here and now you click OK. And now you will have to choose a folder on your computer to save it. So I will shave, save it right over here. I click save and the image got saved. Uh, so let's take a look at my computer to view the image. So I open up uh, my library and here we have the shoes. They are located over here. We double click on them and as you can see the background got removed. Actually I forgot a little part over here so you want to be careful uh, that you don't miss any important parts. But as you can see the background was completely removed like the black is nothing. It's basically transparent you know. So this is how you make images transparent using the online free a photo editor Pixlr. So guys if you'd like this episode definitely give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to get updated on future tech tutorials.